Hi friends, Hal Stead here, Quail Studios Guitar. Today we're going to work on more than a feeling. And I hope you'll stick around because we've got a lot of stuff to do. But we're going to work on the acoustic guitar. I'm going to pull out my electric guitar. I'm going to explain the intricacies of it, the picking of it, the 12 string guitar part, which I'll do on my six string. This first part. <laughs> That's uh, very signature stuff. I mean, when you listen to More Than a Feeling, if you hear that, you say to yourself, that's more than a feeling, right? I'll show you really close, up front, exactly what that is in just a minute. Our D chord, normal D chord, second fret, second finger, first string, first finger, third string up, second fret, third finger, second string up, third fret, D chord. A D sus4 is when we put this little finger on the E string. Okay, and then of course we lift it up and we've got a D chord again. And then what happens is that we play a C9. Now I put my little, I keep my little finger right there and I'm muting this string right here, the D string. So I've got my second finger on the A string, fifth string up, third fret. These two fingers, fourth finger, third finger, on the E string, third fret, third finger, B string, third fret. You keep that, those fingers right there and all of a sudden we've got a G with a B bass. This is the second fret, first finger is on A string, second fret. The D string and the G string are open. We've still got the third and fourth fingers on the E and B strings. And then when we go to the G chord, this is like a G5. Second finger is on the third fret E string, sixth string up. These two fingers are still right there, so when we do this, these fingers stay the same, third and fourth fingers. Let's go to the right hand and show you the picking on that. Okay, so what we've got our D chord. Now I guess I could put that little finger down right now and do the D sus4 right off the bat because I don't hit that string. So I pluck the D string the B string, the G string, E string, D string. I lift this finger up, E string on the second fret right there. Let's see if I do it fast. And that's the, the motion that I use right there with my right hand. If I'm using my pick. And then I go. Those are all down strokes. Down, 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 down. A string, this is the C9. And then I move down to the second fret here. This is your G with the B bass. A string, G string, B string. Then we move to the G5 chord. That finger goes there. E string, G string, and then we start over. All right, you know what I really like to do? I like to get rid of my pick. So what I'll do is I'll just put it in my mouth if I'm not singing. Fourth time. Go to an A minor chord. One thing. 
something I, I like to do. to do that, and that means I don't pluck that D string again. Right there when I hit that D string again. I just let that hang out for two beats. One, two. Now that's my preference, right? I like that better. Because you get all the elements of this finger picking pattern and you don't get all the complexity. So we do this three times. Do that three times and then the third time you go like this. That's the same, and then we play... This is an interesting chord because we have an open E string now. So I'm just playing the B string with my third finger, right there, third fret. The second finger is on this... I was going to say C string, but it's the C note on the A string, 3rd fret. That's the same picking pattern. A minor, G, D, 3, 4, G, C, E minor, D. I really like to use this G chord. And one of the reasons I do is that this bar chord right, they're almost identical. So the first four low notes and these four notes right here, the E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string, are identical. And some people say, instead of playing um, bar chords, you just play power chords. But I like to play the bar chords. We've got our G chord, C, which is a bar chord. Okay, you could do this G chord, which is the, the bar chord G. It looks like an E chord up three frets, the bar on the third fret. You want to lean on those low notes. You know, these, these low ones here. Not so much those upper notes. C bar chord, which will be that note right there, third fret A string, these three notes, D string, G string, B string, on the fifth fret. Mostly these three down here. E minor looks like an A minor chord on the seventh fret going down to D. Now when you play these bar chords they sound really good because you have a lot of control over them. Like that. Let me show you my right hand. So that's what we do. Chaka chaka. So this this is an interesting rhythm. I don't think I did that one right. Let's do that again. Do it even slower. Two, three, four, five. Now 
how many times do we do that? We do this. Twice. More than I'm feeling. More than I'm feeling. Do, 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 do. You do this three times. go to E minor 7. Okay, that chord right there is an E flat. E flat is on the 6th fret. We play that note right there. 8th fret, D, G, B string. Two, three, four, and then we go to an E minor chord. Actually, it's, it might be an E minor 7. Could be an E minor or an E minor 7. E minor 7 is very simple. Second fret, A string. That's all you got to play. A sus4 to A, A9 to A, G, 2, 3, 4, G, D with an F sharp bass. E minor, D. That's the end of that section. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we go back into not exactly the intro. There's actually something that happens here. does that, which is actually a D5. So it's like, it's like a D, but we only play, we only play these three strings. The D string, the G string, and the B string. So it's like this. There's eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we go to the C9. And we go this way and we play the third fret on the B string and the E string. So it's like C9 and then G with the B bass and then the G chord. And then we go back to that D5. It's either or this way. And it's really covered up by electric guitar and all kinds of stuff going on, so I don't think it really matters which way you play it. Okay, and that'll be fine. And then we go back into... Because we're in verse 2 now. Verse 2 is exactly the same, the chorus is exactly the same. And then we go into a bridge right before we do the solo. So let's talk about this, these bridge chords for a second here. One, two, three, four. B minor, A, G, D with an F sharp bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're into the solo. Wow, we have done a lot of material so far, and uh, we're not even at the solo yet. So we're gonna, I'm going to break this uh, video up into a different video and do the solo separately and talk about the solo, the chords for the solo, the solo itself that you can play on acoustic guitar and on the electric guitar. And we're going to make it so that if you're not you know, a really fantastic guitar player, you can still play it. But we're not going to cheat on the notes. We're not going to cheat on, you know, what notes we play. We're going to just play the notes a little differently. Instead of a really big bend or something, we're going to slide up to that note instead of bend up to that note. So you can do it on an acoustic guitar. You can also do it on an electric guitar. All right, thanks very much for being here. Those patrons, thank you for supporting me. And I'll tell you, 
For those of you who are not patrons over at Patreon, it is because of patrons over at Patreon that we have even done this video. If it were not for them, this video would not be published. Thank you for being here. We'll talk to you later. You can see me at Patreon. I've got a bunch of stuff that's not patron only. It's also public. You can go view it over there. Sign up as a patron to help support the videos or to take lessons or to just interact with me. Thanks. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Da 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 da